Hello, Michael. Hello, Madeline. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yeah. I'm not bad, thank you. A little warm today. Are you, is it hot also for you? Yeah, it's the same. Uh, there's a, uh, like, uh, a little bit hot, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess usual for August, yes. July and August are usually the hottest months of the year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's... I, I prefer uh, the temperature, like, near the 20. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with you. I mean, even 18 to maybe 25 is good. <laughs> you can think. wear some. Uh, normal uh, clothes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. Hello, Ulvi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. And you? Oh, not bad. Thank you. Is it warm where you are, Ulvi? Uh, yes. Today the weather is quite very well. Not too hot and not cold. Uh, with a little wind, so the weather is okay today. Oh, okay. Maybe we should, we need to go visit you. It's hot here. <laughs> it's like like thirty five, maybe thirty six degrees. No, over the maximum twenty five degrees here. Oh, see, right. Michael, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, well, we're going to talk about education and um, maybe. You know, maybe you you you're you're not studying currently, but still these questions can apply to you, just uh, in general. Michael, when you studied at school or university, did you like it? Oh, hard to say. I I, I prefer to um, learn something uh, which uh, uh, interesting for me. Oh, okay, but and, I mean uh, some uh, su some uh, subject uh, which uh, I learn with a like pleasure, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, some of them it's not interesting, and I uh, don't spend time um, uh, for for this one, and uh, for me it doesn't matter which mark I have, uh, I will have any future, so. Okay, but um, did you did you like school at all? For for me, it's uh, like indifferent. Uh, so don't like, don't dislike. So uh, I uh, because maybe I I prefer to do it uh, like. Um, uh, uh, Myself, yeah. So, uh, which uh, some subjects which interesting for me, I I can uh, read some books and uh, self education, yeah. Okay, Olvi, what about you? Um, I as oh, sorry, I thought you finished. <laughs> um, Olvi, I know you're studying currently now, yes, at university. Yeah, and uh, do you enjoy your studies? Uh, well, <clears throat> to be honest, not. Uh, I want to start with about the school, yeah. When I was in a primary school, I always wished to study and didn't want to go to the vacation in the summer. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but after the time, when I in the secondary school, I start to hate the school <laughs> and always want to finish. Uh, uh, I used to hate school. No yes. two. Mm -hmm, just... You would hate school, okay. Yeah. <laughs> even though I'm studying in the university, I, I also want to finish it. It's, I don't know, too horrible <laughs> to go every day to the university. And whereas there is, uh, as I said, not very well education. Yet. So uh, and and uh, how many more, which course are you in now, currently? Uh, what course? Mm -hmm. I will start this the last uh, uh, course, yes, the mm -hmm. fourth, fourth course, the last one. 
Wait, you will... The last course? Yes, the three, uh, four years of study, yeah? And I'm in the last one. Ah, okay. Okay. So just one more year to go, and then you're done. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Michael, tell me about primary school. Did you like it? Or did you always look forward to summer vacation? Primary, In primary, yes. sc primary mm. school, like grades 1 to 6 or 1 to 7? You know, I, uh, in general, I don't remember. <laughs> but, of course, uh, as in uh, all, all normal uh, people, uh, I think it's better to do nothing <laughs> and have a vacation all the time. Okay. Well, I don't know all normal people. I'm like Ulvi. I used to like primary school, and then starting uh, from like sixth grade, I didn't like it anymore. And uh, what do you mean uh, when you say like? You like uh, study something? Or I used to love going to school, uh, doing different activities, meeting with my friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so, okay, um, what, what was positive, what were th maybe three positive things, Olvi, about your, your primary school or even secondary school, what were maybe three positive things about this school? Mm, well, the three positive things, maybe the first one is when I start to study it, the first class, uh, it's one of the beautiful times when I really want to go to school. Mm -hmm. yes. And another one is when I finished school. Uh, there's a party uh, with, <laughs> with all the um, not students, but the children who finished yeah, graduation. Graduates, yes. Graduation. Uh, yes, with, with other graduation students. Uh, and another one, uh, when we are studying in the 11th uh, class, yes, the last one, mm. uh, there is also one great party we organized in a new year. It's also, I remember even uh, till now. Okay, so Olvi, the only positive parts of school was parties? Mm, yes, I think it's... <laughs> Maybe the funny ones also be joking with teacher, when, yeah? but all in all, the big uh, things which I remember is the parties. <laughs> well, it's not about so much what you remember, but what would you say is positive? Okay, so graduation parties, yes, for you was positive. But did you have like any type of positive experience in school? Uh, for instance, can you give an example? Okay, um, a positive experience might be a teacher who um, maybe taught you something that you still remember, or um, so, so when you learn something new and exciting. Well, maybe there is a few teachers, actually, two teachers, yes, which I like even now and visit them even now. Uh, there is the best my teachers really. They learn too many things, not just uh, how can I say, the lessons maybe yes, the education, but even the more. Okay, so even life lessons. Yes, life lessons. Okay, all right, Michael. Any? Can you give me like three positive things you remember from school? Yeah, for me it's. Uh, Maybe a hard question because you know uh, I I I never try to uh, remember uh, this time. But, uh, maybe it's, uh, for for me it's interesting to remember some friends uh, and uh, maybe some funny situation. But in general. You know, maybe some subject uh, more interesting for me, was uh, more, more more interesting uh, for me. Uh, so, but uh, in, 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 not, not nothing special. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, but you you okay? You mentioned one thing. You mentioned friends. You made friends, yes, in school. So that's something positive about your school experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Michael, did you like lunch time? Uh, lunch time, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What about physical training? Oh, I also uh, like it because uh, it's uh, it's kind of free time. Yeah. You liked physical training, Michael? No, I I, I, I do it uh, on on it what I want, so it's possible to. Uh, oh. Oh. Time, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I'm going to ask you the opposite question. Ovi, what was negative about your school? Three things, at least three. Negative about school. Uh, well, uh, too many cruel, maybe, teachers. <laughs> huh? Uh, cruel teachers, yeah. Which cruel pictures uh, of? Teachers, teachers. Oh, teachers, cruel yeah, teachers. Which can uh -huh. even beat you. It's so horrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You know, they they outlawed that in my schools maybe from the late eighties. You couldn't do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Beat the children. Yeah. No, in our school it's possible. Well, the another negative thing is that my mother also the teacher in this school. That's oh. Why, yeah. That's why. It's the problem when I around from the lessons, yes? The teachers go and told my mother, <laughs> and my mother at home beat me too. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> very horrible. To, to me, that's every child's nightmare. My mother works at the same school I work <laughs> I go to yeah. school at. I think it's one of the horrible things. Yeah, what, what, what subject does your mom teach? Uh, my mom uh, teach in a... Primary classes, yes, the all the subjects. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, that 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 would be difficult. Okay, one more other negative aspect. Mm -hmm. I don't remember anymore. Maybe the horrible uh, yard of the um, I can of the school, yes, the place. Schoolyard. Schoolyard, yes. It's really horrible and quite not very well. Yeah. Okay. In bad condition. Yeah, schoolyard. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, Michael, what about for you? Negative aspects of school? No, I think. Uh, no, we can say uh, something like. Um, uh, maybe mm, not so good teachers, yeah, when they try to show uh, something. Uh, you know, in general, I, uh, uh, when I uh, talk um, with a different uh, teachers or uh, person who um, say, uh, okay, I'm a teacher. Uh, I, I, all time, I uh, I try to understand uh, uh, maybe the quality yeah, of this person, how uh, this person understand uh, what to do, and and uh, in general, I see not so many uh, good uh, teachers, yeah, because <laughs> they don't understand what to do. They uh, Use uh, uh, you know bad words uh, for me it, uh, like uh, you know <laughs> unreal something unreal yeah when uh, the teacher show uh, the example uh, strange example yeah uh, uh, so and uh, maybe um, uh, there was um, people who. Um, Think uh, as, as that uh, uh, their uh, subject are uh, main, yeah. But uh, <laughs> of course, it's a wrong idea because uh, every person uh, like uh, have a uh, like 
own road and interest yeah uh, and uh, it's impossible to say okay mom <laughs> maybe the mess is uh, what you what uh, will you want all life yeah so mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe uh, this, uh, this is a uh, like uh, negative side yeah. okay all right <clears throat> Okay, I, I agree sometimes. I had um, a history teacher once who was very boring and it was very hard to concentrate in her class because. Yeah, and, uh, was you, you know, the same way, um, uh, when they cannot um, pronounce uh, the speech yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, like attract uh, students, yeah. Or, uh, Mm -hmm. keep, keep their interest. Yeah, keep interest. And it's, uh, it's a kind of boring lesson. So maybe, uh, you know, I have, I, now I remember I have the interest in chemistry. Uh, like, uh, for me, it's inter it was interesting, yeah. But uh, when it's uh, like, uh, you have interest, but after that you can see that uh, these uh, teachers are uh, don't see this and uh, do something wrong. You can uh, like okay, <laughs> it's uh, the, the no no I haven't no more interest yeah in this. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, you know, sometimes that 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 can happen. Yeah. Well, fortunately, my next history teacher after the bad one was very interesting. So I hated that subject for a long time until I switched to another school and I had a different teacher, and everything was fine after that. But yeah, if they're not interesting, then who wants to study? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, then, do you remember how long were your different breaks in school? Mm, I don't understand what you mean. You know, a break from school. Um, the time for reading, for instance, yeah? No. Um, the one for uh, vacations. Mm, okay, I'll give you an example. We had something called winter break. Winter break was two weeks. Winter break was approximately the 21st of December to the 2nd of January, well, approximately. Uh, you want how many breaks I had? I have. Uh, no, how long? For example, you had winter break. Yes, winter break over the 10 years, uh, 10 days. For 10 days. Yes. Okay, what about spring? Did you have? Do you have spring? Did you have spring break? Yes. Also, there is a break. Uh, it's a little bit longer, two weeks maybe, but not any more. Uh, you guys get a lot of long vacations. Ours were only a week for spring. Oh. <laughs> and it usually fell around the time of Easter. No, maybe because it's two weeks for us because we have the uh, national. Uh, Mm. Oh, uh, it's vocation maybe. Uh, it's um, one moment. Celebration, yes, yeah. Festival maybe. National festival. Uh, in springtime. Yes, in the springtime. Maybe that's why it's a little bit longer. I see. And when is your country's Independence Day? Uh, it's Novruz uh, Bayram. Novruz holiday. Huh? Um, Novruz holiday. Maybe you don't even heard about it. No, but when when is it? When? Uh, uh -huh. Between uh, twenty uh, twenties. Oh my! <laughs> Sorry, this is not a history exam. <laughs> yeah, I understood. But I don't know <laughs> anything about. Just one more. Uh, yes, 20th March. Yes, March. And till the 23rd. Oh, you have three days of independence. Three days, but it's it, 
it's becoming longer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, two weeks. Okay, no, you're in Azerbaijan. Yeah. Correct. Okay, let me ask you a question because I don't know. In Azerbaijan, are you mainly considered a Christian country or a Muslim country? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, no, is your country considered like Christian country or Muslim? Mm, I can't get to my idea. Question: uh, Can you write maybe? Okay, you know how some countries. Uh, have one particular religion that's dominant. So is your country Christian? Let me just see this, this bit like this. No, so uh, yeah, no, not, not Christian, it's... Uh, Muslim. Muslim, yeah, Muslim. Ah, uh, okay, so you wouldn't, so for school you wouldn't have Easter then, <laughs> anyway. That's in other countries. Do, do you understand? No. History or? I asked about Easter break. Easter. Easter. No, I never yeah. heard. Okay. Don't worry about it then. <laughs> it's not important. Just uh, um, where there's a celebration called Easter, usually in springtime, and we usually get one week um, off. Uh, kind of like a, a a break from school plus the holiday. Uh, the holiday is usually like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you have Monday to Thursday off, and then the weekend for the holiday. But okay. All right. So you have uh like an independence, yes, March twentieth to twenty third. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Celebration. Okay, all right. Um, Michael, what about you? Um, your different uh, breaks during school. Do you remember how long they were? He is absent. I think I think I think he is absent. But sorry, Obi, this makes me also ask a question too because I know just a little bit about Ramadan. Yeah, Ramazan. Uh, Ramazan. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Ramazan. And so, in school, then, um, does it ever fall during the time of school? No, it's actually changing uh, each year. Yes, it's mm -hmm. going. Um, I don't remember exactly, but maybe or ten or twenty days each year, it's changing the time. Yes, and becoming. Uh, for instance, from December to January, it's changing. Yeah, uh, that's why mm -hmm. it's not always the uh, in a school time. Yes. Ah, oh, okay, okay. But would you go to school during this time? No, when there is uh, the school time, not the. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, I forgot all the. Um, Yes, yeah, summer vacations, yes. Uh -huh. uh, if there's uh, not in the summer vacations, so of course we didn't go. Ah, so you don't, okay, so you do take off of school yeah. for this celebration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I I just, I heard about it maybe four years ago. Um, one acquaintance of my family, uh, we happened to be visiting him and his wife during this this uh, celebration or time, and so only when, of course, when the sun set, then they were eating. So there, and then they were explaining a little bit of the tradition to my family. So I just was curious, what happens when it falls during school? You take off of school, okay? Okay. Um, what was your favorite? Subject. Well, the favorite one is a it's a mass. Uh, the subject which uh, uh, contained uh, maybe calculation. Yes, calculate. Calculations. Not, not mm -hmm. as the history or I don't know literature. I don't like such one. 
such kind of yes. Actually, I always like the math. Maybe because the main uh, main subject of my mom is a math. Yes. Uh, but, uh. Uh, she finished the um, math university. Maybe something like that. Whereas the math is important. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's why from the childhood I always tried to solve some uh, mathematical combinations. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I see. Okay. Um, what, the, what about English? Did you like English in school? Well, at school when we start, uh, we started in a fifth class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, two years in the fifth and sixth. Uh, six uh, classes I liked and I tried very hard to mm -hmm. learn but then I saw that the teacher is not very well and she's not uh, have the pressure on us to learn yeah that's why I stopped to, to learn the English but when I was entered the university I understood that the English too important for me and without it I can, can I can't improve myself in the future that's why I start to learn the English. You started learning English again. Uh huh. Um, does anyone in your family speak English? Or just you? Just, just me. Just but you. The brother start to go to courses uh, one month ago. Maybe oh. in, the, in the future it will. He also can. Speak. It you know it's helpful. It really is. If at least. Maybe one relative of yours speaks English. You can maybe spend 10 to 15 minutes a day just talking in English with that person for additional practice, even if it's really simple. Even if it's just like, how was your day, you know, um, or something. It's, it's important. I absolutely agree with you. But the mm -hmm. problem is that my few friends know English, yes. Of course, not very well, but I think... As me, maybe a little bit lower, yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know why we never try to speak. Mm, we're afraid maybe to make mistakes. That's why. I'm, but it's really too bad that we didn't use the language. Yeah, I, I, if you can convince them, I would encourage you to use them. I mean, not all day, but at least maybe five to ten minutes. Yes. It's a, it's a good additional practice. And um, your native language, though, is... Azerbaijan know, language. Uh, yeah, but is it called something specific, or is it just called... Azerbaijan? Azeri, Azeri language, yeah. Uh, Azeri? Yeah, Azeri language. But I studied mm -hmm. in a Russian school, that's why uh, the, Eng um, the Russian language more close to me than my even native language. So. Uh-huh, okay, okay. Okay, so you're already multilingual. You speak Russian. Uh, Russian, uh, uh, English a little bit, and the Turkish also. Ah, uh, okay. I, I've uh, heard that it's uh, a little similar, yes? Yes, similar with the other language. That's why even if we uh, speak in our language, yes, they will understood. We, we can understand each other. Uh -huh, okay, um, because I had a friend here, now forgive me because I've heard there's some problems, but she's um, Armenian and she told me that she also speaks Az Azeri. Azeri, yes. yes, plus she speaks Armenian uh, and she speaks Russian and then she also says she can speak a little Turkish, I guess because some of the times so some of them are a little similar to each other. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, what about your least favorite subject? Which subject was your least favorite? Least favorite, it's I actually, which I don't like, yeah? Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Well, the, in the first place, it's the history. History. <laughs> I, okay. I don't know why I always hate this subject. Maybe uh, it's too difficult for me to read and remember something. I always try to learn by heart. Yeah, that's mm. not too difficult. I think it has to do with your teacher. Maybe it's also possible, yes, because it's a uh, director of our uh, school. Yeah, 
and is very strong person who will afraid him. Maybe that's why it's also possible. I hate it, this subject. Okay. <coughs> the another one is a literature also. The same situation, yes. Too difficult to remember. To read <laughs> the novel maybe. Yes. Fairy okay. tale and remember it. I I love reading, but I'm not big on literature classes. I, I mean, I like to maybe read the story, but I don't always want to analyze it like they do sometimes. Um, you know, what was the writer really... S or I don't always like when they write in such a style that you have to guess the meaning of everything. So that's kind of like me with Shakespeare. It's kind of like I love it and I hate it. I love it for the fact that it's old and a classic. And sometimes, yes, I like the story. But I don't like it because of the, it's, it makes you have to think a lot as to what everything means. A lot of symbolism. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, did you get homework every day in school? Did you get it every day? Well, uh, to be honest, not always. The subjects which I, which I liked, yeah, of course, I do it every day because I get the pleasure from doing this uh, homeworks. But uh, subjects such history or literature, just a few times for the uh, score, yes. Yeah? Just to if I get score and <laughs> during the I don't know one week or two weeks I didn't learn more. I no, but I mean, did your teachers assign a lot of homework? Because some teachers give a lot of homework and some teachers don't. Yes, it depends on the teacher. But all in all, just maybe in the few cases, too many homeworks. Yeah, or the these days when. Uh, the all subjects give the, a homework, yes, and over the five, six subjects you should do, maybe in such days it's difficult to do all of them. Mm, okay. Um, I don't know about for you, but for me, starting 10th grade was like the worst year. We got homework maybe every day from almost every subject. It's horrible, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember. I don't know why it's like the worst year of high school. Okay. Um, what about exams? Well, you take exams now. So how often would you say do you have exams? How often? Uh, now or at the time of the school? Okay, we'll answer for both. What about now? Well, now uh, over the let me count over the fourteen exams during the one year, yeah. Uh, one of this in the summer and one of this in the uh, winter. Seven subjects, as I said, in the winter and seven in the summer, yeah. Okay, so you take fourteen exams. Fourteen exams in one. In uh, yeah. one year. Okay, and what about in school? Do you remember? But at school, just in the, when you finish the ninth class, yes, there's a one exam, uh, the government exam, yeah, the main exam, to uh, enter the tenth class. If you can't pass it, you will stay at the ninth class. Oh, and that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's easy for me. Yes, it's, there is subject. I don't know, maybe the easiest one, yes. Al always the exams for me the easy. I don't know why. Yeah, I can pass it easily. Also, maybe because your mom's a teacher. Oh, maybe also possible. Uh, also, when I finished the school in, in the 11th class, there is also one exam, the last exam, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, I also passed it easily and to give another exam entered to university. That's why for me the exams is not problem. But the big problem for me now is to pass the exam of IELTS. Yeah. And oh, you're preparing for that. Yes, I am preparing for that, and there's too many problems. Why? Really? 
<laughs> well, okay, I cannot say if the IELTS exam is easy or hard, <laughs> but I'm asking, I'm interested to know why you, why you, what, what, are, what do you struggle with? Well, the problem is, is the reading. Yeah, I can't uh, do the reading reading very well. Maybe because I read the some part of the text, yes, and I uh, maybe can't understand or forget about what I read. Yeah, the big problem is that, and this way I lost the time, as I think you know, the one hour just for reading. Yeah. Mm, uh, I think so. I don't remember right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one hour, and uh, another big problem with, actually not big problem, but it should train, should be trained, yeah, with writing, to write two essays, uh, it's another one, difficult one. Uh, there is two parts here, yeah, the task one and task two. Task yep. one is the easiest one for me to describe some, uh, there is some pictures, yes, graphs. Mm -hmm. The graphs, mm -hmm. yeah, Yes, you should uh, write about. This, write this in, write about it, yes. But uh, task two is about some question and you should uh, write some ideas, some explanations. Uh, it's one of the big problems, uh, whereas I can't find some ideas to write. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, are you using any type of books to help you with this? Well, i going to the, third, uh, the courses. Where I using oh. uh, books, of uh, mm. <coughs> I don't remember the name of books because they didn't give us the books. They just always copied and give us the copies of page. Yeah, the page. Ah, oh, I see. That's uh -huh. one way. But uh, with listening, I don't have any problems. The good results, and just I should train the reading part and writing. And each day I train my uh, speaking, yeah, with with classes. I think it will help me in the future. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's important, yes, to to try to train yourself in all the different different parts. Well, um, do you have a plan as to when you plan to take the test? When or yeah. yeah, when? Uh, to be honest, uh, during the long time I didn't do the writing. That's why I think that it will be better uh, to give the uh, exam in the winter, maybe October or December in this period. Uh huh, I see. Okay. And do you have to travel far um, in order to take the exam? To travel? To another country. To pass no, maybe to another city. Yes, it's my city also possible to give the exam. Ah, okay. Are you in the capital or no? Uh, right now, not. Uh, I'm in a hometown, but I study in a capital city in Mbaku. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, huh? Michael, leave us. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, <laughs> sometimes that happens. Okay. Um. Now, do you have to? Uh, did you have to wear a school uniform? Uh, at school, yes. Uh, in the primary classes, we have some special uniform, but then I don't know why they uh, uh, changed. Uh, I can the uniform yeah, to to another one, and during the one period we didn't wear it. But uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the school, yes, from the uh, ninth class till the eleventh, yes, there is also another uh, uniform which we wear. Okay, and did you like your uniform? Yes, I liked because one. Uh, I don't like that when the old student uh, students yes not to wear the uniform. I don't know why, but when the old students wear, it's really too uh, perfect and looks really 
uh, amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I didn't wear a school uniform. School uniforms were usually just for private schools. In public schools, there were we were not required to do so. Yeah. yeah. It was not it was not something we had to do. Okay, who was your favorite teacher? Uh, well, there is my favorite teacher actually the teacher of the uh, Russian language and the literature. <laughs> yes, she is my favorite one, <laughs> but uh unfortunately I don't like the literature. But she's were one of the best teachers. And also not the best one, maybe, but one of the good ones. She is the math teacher. Also, she is funny teacher. Make jokes during the uh, lessons, and it not always under the pressure. Yes, uh, it's time we had have had the time to relax. And mm -hmm. it's good. Okay. okay, that's always nice when they can make it. Interesting. I used to have a very short history teacher, and um, he couldn't always reach the top of our blackboard. So he used to either use like a step stool or he would jump, you know. And it was always kind of funny because you would laugh as he's trying to uh, draw pictures, uh, you know, and explain different things to us. But he made it entertaining. He it, it was interesting, not just because he was jumping, but <laughs> he had a lot of energy, and he was very excited about the subject. So he really made it very interesting for us. Um, okay. Um, Do you, I'm going to give you a statement. Tell me if you agree. Boring teachers give boring subjects. Interesting teachers give interesting subjects. Uh, well, I really don't know. Maybe, maybe, but not always, yes. Uh, it depends actually in the te on, the te uh, on the teacher or in the teacher. Uh, on the teacher. Depends on the teacher, yeah. yeah. Uh, because there is some really uh, boring uh, subjects, but the teacher is uh, funny and can explain it uh, in the best way, and it, the lesson becoming interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I had a good history. Actually, I had two good history teachers. A usually boring subject, but good teachers. I also had government. It's required that we study about state, local government, federal government. It's not very interesting for me, but I had an interesting teacher. So that made it a little bit easier to, to go to that class. For instance, the chemical, yes, it's one of the interesting ones to show the, some examples, some reactions here. Yeah. Uh, I think it's one of the interesting ones, but the teacher is too boring and never show us some interesting experience, experiments. Uh, see, for me, it was the opposite. I wasn't very interested in chemistry, but I had a teacher who did experiments all the time, so it was very interesting. We had um, our, like, our safety glasses, yeah. and um, we got to mix. Okay, I think I'm okay now. Um, we got to mix different chemicals, um, and uh, we had burners. You know, it's yeah. it's called like a Bunsen burner, I think. At least in English, it is. And uh, anyway, so we would heat up different things, and you know, then we had to write down the results of our test. And one time he did a test, I remember, it was so funny. We had to duck down because a ball just went shooting across our classroom. <laughs> and, you know, it just, you couldn't sleep in such a class because it was just too much uh, things going on. 
but I don't like having to study the table of elements. That to me was hard. Yes, it's the uh, boring part of the chemical, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but when yeah. with experiments, of course, it's becoming too interesting and you want to uh, see more and more. Yeah, yeah, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Okay, do you think that um, if you had the chance, you would have preferred to study at home? Chance to study at home? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that it's a good idea because uh, alone, uh, but at school there is a friend with whom you can joke and spend really interesting time. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't think that it's uh, good to study at home. Maybe for children who with disabilities, yes, it's of course better for them. But uh, for me, it's not normal. Not okay. Okay. You know, I I I had friends who did home studying, <laughs> and for me, I couldn't handle being home with my mom all day studying subjects. <laughs> I would have been crazy. So, but some for some people, and uh, even without maybe some type of learning disabilities, um, it was um, um, no normal for them to stay home. I don't know why, but I never thought of it as a good idea, personally. Yeah. Although there are days I would have liked to stay at home from school. <laughs> In this way, yes. Okay. Do you think you would ever like to be a teacher? To be a teacher? No, it's really boring. I always see my mom how she come from the school and start to start to do lessons, yes, prepare for the next day. It's really horrible. She sits to the till the midnight and oh. prepares lessons. I even can't imagine how she chose the, the, this profession. Well, if she lo but if you love it, then that's how you can do it. Maybe. Maybe, but it's the problem is that she works with the little ch children. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the, it's too difficult to learn the children than the adult T ones. Teach, teach. Yeah, teach. Uh, mm -hmm. the children and adults, that's why maybe I saw that it's difficult. Well, you know, I, I kind of have like a 50-50 opinion of that. Just based on my experience with English, um, sometimes children are easier than adults <laughs> in some cases, and sometimes adults are easier than children. It just depends on the child, I think. I mean, I know one girl, she's sorry, she's 12 years old. I'm sorry. She's like 12 years old. She loves English. She's like very, very easy and everything with English. And then I can have another situation where someone is like six or seven and they don't like English and then it's really hard to teach them anything. Yeah. It depends, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, could you imagine your life without school? Mm, without school? It's rather difficult to imagine without school. Uh, when we were uh, in childhood, childhood, yeah, it's difficult to imagine uh, my life without school. But when I become uh, older and older, uh, uh, it seems to me that I spend time, mostly spend time. It's a most most of time. <coughs> That's why maybe it. Uh, difficult for me, but otherwise, uh, no. It's I think even though too difficult to imagine my life without school, it learned me, it give me 
the friends, yes, with uh, which close to me even now. That's why it's the life experience which we get from at school. Okay. Yeah, I I agree with some of that. Like you know, you you get a chance to be with your friends. Yes, you have social. Without school, it would have been different. A whole different story. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, who do you think is responsible for a person's education, the parents or the teachers? Well, it depends to all of them, yeah. I think uh, if the teacher will not uh, be, uh, how can I say, to force the children to, children to study, yeah. uh, and also it depends on the uh, parents too, if the parents don't tell them to learn, don't check them, it will be uh, bad and they will not study it yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Are you still maybe f uh, friends with some of your uh, school friends? Sure. Of course, not all of them, but uh, the four uh, guys and even also that the girls too, yeah, we're too close and always we uh, have a relationship and uh, over the 10 or 15 days ago we meet and go to the another country to the mountains to relax to speak about. Ah, uh, where did you go? Uh, well, I think you don't know such a city, yeah, but to the mountains, the forest, a river, very nice places. Wait, you went to a different country or just to a different city? Uh, well, we from the we was born in the one country uh, in this uh, one city, yes. But now there is in another part, uh, one of them in the capital city yeah, in the Baku. But even though we call all of them and go to the another city. Ah, yeah. oh, okay, so another city. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because when you say different country, I'm like, well, where did you go? <laughs> uh, yeah, not country, but city. City, mm-hmm, okay. Okay. All right. Would you say that you were a good student in school? In school? Mm-hmm. Uh, what about now? <laughs> uh, well, in school, I think, yes, one of the... Uh, best students, one of them, as an example, yes, example children, how can I say, one of the best ones. You were one of the best students? Yes, in a top three, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Best children, but even now, yes, I also one of the best uh, students, yes, um, uh, how can I say, when the uh, scores uh, they were high, yeah. Uh, in the top of the the students, yes. Also in the uh, there is a three uh, guys who scored the high scores, yeah. And mm -hmm. I am one of them. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, good. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, and uh, how long, um, this is off the subject, but it's kind of on the subject, how long have you been studying English? Oh, just like in the last few months, right? You've been real serious about your English. Well, no, I'm serious about from the first course of the three years, yes, I'm preparing for English. Uh -huh. I started from the beginning level. Yeah, but uh, I can't prove myself very quickly because there is breaks in the summer, yes? I come mm -hmm. in from my uh, hometown, that's why maybe I lost a lot. Um, I didn't use this language, yes? And I forgot a lot of words and even the speaking. But even though the last, yes, of course, the last <laughs> year in mm -hmm. uh, 2015, yeah? I'm uh, really serious about it and 
uh, at the end of this year, I want to get a uh, certificate. Uh huh. I see. Well, you also, yeah, you plan to have your IELTS take your IELTS examination, so that's. Yes. That's oh, serious about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. All right, Ulvi. Well, I'm going to conclude our lesson now. Sorry, my son has joined us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he he was taking a bit of a nap. Now he's kind of cranky. But um, anyway, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you too very much. All right. Keep up the good work. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, and uh, don't stress out about aisles. <laughs> I tell all my students that, though. <laughs> but you know, they it, it's good. You need to relax. And they all do well. They all did well. So, yeah. yeah. So um, I hope so. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Good night. Uh huh. All right. Take care. Uh huh. Bye bye.